Episode number two, Oi Elites, how's it going? It's me, your boy Waddles, and welcome back to Infinite Survival, the brand new survival series that I'm super hyped about. Um, so, I'm kind of a changed person, not to brag, but big things have happened. I'm pretty much, I'm pretty much on the level of like full netherite right now. Uh, we have some catching up to do. I'm very, very different from before. Is that an outpost over there? That's an outpost. Uh, anyways, we have some catching up to do. Take a look at what happened in between episodes roll the footage first things first the outdoor is for savages i had to move indoors to get good after that i needed food if i want to do anything i'll need to eat after getting some food i cut down a gigantic tree it was very big quite understandably after that i was tired i've never been through work like that in this world so i decided to calm down and watch some wheat grow it was very boring Eventually, I decided to witness the miracle of birth. It was pretty exciting. After birthing my first baby cow myself, in a true euphoric rush, I decided to chop down a tree. Hopefully, I replant that type of tree and not this type of tree. Finally, it was sugarcane time, so I decided to plant some sugarcane. Then, I got more food because a guy's gotta eat. All right, so, uh, okay, fine. Maybe not quite on the level of full netherite, but some good progress was made in between episodes to set up for today's episode. Today's episode is a big episode all about resources. So, we tried to cave last episode. We tried very hard. It just, it just wasn't for us. It didn't work out. But today, it will definitely work out because I have a much better early game plan in mind. Now, obviously, this is just normal survival. So, if we commit respawn, it happens. It's cool. It's not that big of a deal. But it actually is a big deal. I can't let it happen. I would never forgive myself. So, we need to do things the safe way. The safe way to get iron, diamonds, and that kind of good stuff early on, definitely brand branch mining so i think today we're gonna go ahead and add a branch mine to this world and hopefully hopefully find our first diamonds uh, the first diamonds are really the big goal of today's episode now um in terms of a, a mine location we kind of have two options here option number one after i get this sapling uh thank you option number one we have this luxury house or soon to be luxury house right here we could definitely just put the entrance to the branch mine inside of the house but i don't know i don't know if i like that idea i feel like we're gonna have a lot inside of the house like we'll have our, our room inside of our house so i don't know option number two is like the good old days you see back in like 2019 uh there was a thing called outside and it was pretty cool you, you could go outside and it was like a like inside but a little bit bigger so i'm thinking the entrance to our branch mine will be a nostalgia trip a, into the outdoors and uh yeah basically we'll have a hole right here we're gonna dig straight down today throw all rules of minecraft out the window yeah uh, yep we're gonna basically dig really really far down have a ladder in the hole so we can get down there quickly instead of a staircase and then water at the bottom and then branch mines if we get lucky we'll hit a cave system as well which would be really really cool not too sure if we will but uh yeah that's the plan that's how we're gonna actually go ahead and start today's episode now uh i'd like to work on the house a little bit in today's episode as well but i guess we'll kind of see uh iron and diamonds are really the first big priority if we're planning on traveling around through dimensions which we definitely are that's the point of this whole series we need good gear good weapons because uh, there are dimensions that are crazy crazy difficult like i mentioned in i think the last episode i've seen dimensions where ender dragons spawn a bunch dimensions where withers just spawn a bunch uh yeah we kind of need Need to be geared up now i would like to say thank you all for all of the support on episode one big big shout out to each and every one of you who watched that episode dropped a like and left a comment it's something cool like that thank you i was so nervous to put the episode out i don't know why i i always get really really nervous like i've said before when i'm starting a new series and yeah all of it honestly it makes me even more hyped for the series i I don't know. It's just awesome to see that you guys are liking it. Uh, I want to talk a little bit more about it, but uh, before I do that, what time is it? Uh, I think that's the sun. Yeah, it's like midday. Okay, we have time. 
so yeah big thank you for all of the support on episode one if the support continues this series will uh continue and hey would you take a look at that that's a beautiful sight that's the first iron in the world this is amazing this is big right here i think we should probably uh make a pair of shears with our first uh iron and then maybe a water bucket then an iron pickaxe those are the first three things that i want to make so we're going to go ahead and take the stuff the pickaxe is about to break anyways and we're going to go back up to the surface for a minute we'll be right back down here first furnace of the world right here we'll actually go ahead and make two furnaces like that just to have two there we go and then the iron can go right inside of the furnace and we will cook it all up that's good and the other furnace will actually put a little bit of coal and then some cobblestone so we can make a stone cutter because the the thing that we're building will definitely need to look good it'll just be a hole in the ground until we put a rock over it i think a rock will be the way to make it look really really good now uh while i wait for that to smelt up i think we could definitely make well how much iron yeah we might as well not even make another as well should i make another stone pickaxe i could make another one to save the iron one maybe that's a good idea we'll, we'll do that i like that idea oh yeah advancement time that's what i thought uh bucket right here water bucket that'll help us a lot then we need shears and i'd like to actually go find some wild sheep around here i know we have the two trapped but if i could find some wild ones and shear them i could make another bed and then put that down in the mines that would probably be pretty good trying to avoid the nighttime here so shears and then uh we'll come back for that other iron but anyways thank you all for all of the support on episode one and the support continues on this series then the series will continue I also read my comments. I saw all of your dimensions and I saw some of your questions as well. The dimensions, keep them coming. If you have a cool dimension you'd like me to check out eventually, drop it down in the comments of this episode. Book name, uh, book text, exactly, and we'll check it out uh, once we can actually check it out. Now the questions. The the infinite dimension thing, it, it's a feature in Minecraft, but actually not. It, it's a thing, but it also isn't. So the whole infinite dimension thing, the snapshot that we're playing in, was an April Fool's prank from Mojang. This is not actually another update feature. It's, it's just kind of like a side thing. Think of it as its own update, but it's not actually an update unfortunately for you bedrock players out there you cannot get access to this it won't be on bedrock edition it's just not like that it's kind of a bummer but this is just how it is if you want to play it still and you know how to set up a custom profile in your java edition launcher set up a custom profile with the version 20w14 infinite snapshot uh, hey iron pick that's amazing that's amazing boom stone cutter one of the most amazing looking workstations in the game right there that's amazing big moves are being made huge huge moves one final sidetrack before we go back into the mines we need to move the wheat farm closer to the cows so it's easier to use so the wheat is done being harvested or planted over here we're gonna harvest it uh but we're not replanting over here anymore the old farm is gone that's old news now finally the third question that i saw kind of a lot that i wanted to answer is dimension hopping what did i mean by that well uh once we have access to the other dimensions so basically another portal and written books then uh we'll go from dimension to dimension to dimension travel the dimension check them out a little bit as much as possible and then uh come back to the base and gear up and you know if we find netherite armor then we'll gear up with netherite armor if we find maybe a bunch of diamonds we'll come back and maybe add some kind of cool diamond build to the world you know things like that basically lots of exploration in this series not a whole bunch of farm making so things like redstone that's kind of not that important we'll make some basic farms maybe like an automatic sheep farm so we can have some wool definitely a cow farm so we can have some food but we're, we're not really worried about making a bunch of crazy farms like in the minecraft guide world that type of stuff is left uh, for the minecraft guide series so if you want to see more farms and things like that built then uh, check out that series if you want to see like exploration and things like that this is the place for you gamers this is the place so sweet berry bush line right there that'll be cool and then we'll go ahead and do another one over here i well no no not right there maybe like i think down here will probably be a little bit better i'd like to keep those because we don't have a cow farm up and running yet but these are going to be in the way so the plan for this weed farm is basically like a random field we're not going to make it look like all like perfect and nice we'll just fill weed in over there and then eventually we'll have this area kind of decorated and terraformed and it'll look great it'll look beautiful it'll be the best random wheat farm field thing that you've ever seen uh trust me but uh all in time all in time patience so now uh we need to continue digging down um how far are we we are not very far let me guess uh like 52 we're at 52 maybe 
Uh, no, we're at 48. Okay, better than I thought, but still not very good. We need to go all the way down to Y10 so I can put some water. And then we'll branch mine, of course, at Y11 because we actually want to find diamonds. If you don't branch mine at Y11, you're just wrong. You are... You're sorry to say, but you are just wrong. So... Yep, I have a lot of digging to do now. Um, yeah, I should probably just cut this out. Check this out. Uh-huh, uh-huh. That's the... Whoa, okay. Oh, nice, nice. That's the pro way to use a ladder. Now, I'm pretty far down. I'm at Y24. We are almost there, and... I'm hearing zombie. Oh, hey, some gold. Uh, but I'm, I'm hearing zombies, which could be a good sign, could be a really bad sign. Uh, good if it's a cave system that isn't too dangerous. Bad if it's a cave system that is insanely dangerous. Iron pick, I think you're going to have to come out. Can we mine this stuff with, with stone? I forget. It's been a long time, if I'm being 100% honest. Uh, no, I can't. Okay, well, hey, I guess, I guess it's good because gold is pretty much worthless to me. I don't think we'll have much of a use for this. We'll take it anyways, of course. Maybe we can decorate with it or something but uh yeah i i'm wondering about these zombie noises maybe if we're lucky it'll be below us uh that would be kind of lucky at least so long as we don't fall into it um i feel like the zombies are getting loud oh okay okay so it is below us we have a cave system right here this is amazing until we have to get into it and it's overloaded with zombies if there's a zombie spawner down here i'm out like i'm just not gonna I'm not gonna mess with it. It looks like there's some lava down there too. That's kind of dangerous. Um, how could we do this? We could dump water. Uh, wait, we can water log those? I didn't know that. <laughs> uh, we could dump water right there, right? Get rid of some of the lava. Uh, mind these. I think if we can get the zombies over here, they would burn up from the daylight because we're open to the sky. Uh, what do we have? Okay, it sounds like they're behind me. Uh, how am I gonna do this? How am I gonna do this? A okay, there's a baby zombie. There's a there's a baby. Okay. Well that's that's terrifying. Um it sounds like he's burning. Let's go ahead and do this. Right here, this will be where we can we can stand, because I need blocks. Um I don't know how to do this. Uh is that a second baby zombie? Is, are there two baby zombies? Really? Really? Oh no. Um Well, I could place more of these. Can baby zombies use ladders? <laughs> um, where do they go? Okay, okay, so ladder's right there, nice. Um, I'm one ladder short. Uh, let's see, let's see. Well, if we were to go up that, okay, another baby zombie. Does it, like, loop around? Like, what's going on with all of these baby zombies? I don't like to, okay, that's, that's bad, that's bad, that's bad. Uh, yeah, there's three baby zombies. What even is this? I need to keep my eyes on the, behind me, too. There's... Could be creepers over there. A grown-up one, too. What is going on here? Is there just... Is there a spawner? Do we find a zombie spawner? That could be crazy. Uh, you guys can all go away. Uh, I need my torches. So, let's do this. Let's light this way up first because it's, like, right here. Um, do we have a zombie spawner over here? Uh, okay, we have a skeleton. We're out. We're out. We're out. This is bad. This is really, really bad. We need out of here. No. No. Yeah, I, I need to go. I need to go. I need to go. Um, okay, 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 okay. Yep, we're just gonna keep going. We're just gonna go. We're just gonna go. Don't worry about it, skeleton. Don't worry about it. Okay, so thinking about my next move here, I really don't know. I think we might have enough iron for an iron sword. That would be a big upgrade. If we could get an iron sword, we might be able to take that skeleton on, no problem. We have water right below here, so things are catching on fire, but they're not going to stay on fire if they're in the water, which is nice, but it's not nice at all. Oh, we have just enough iron. This is perfect. Okay, so let's do this. We'll gear up like that, and I think we'll leave like a bunch of this stuff in here uh, just to be safe, and I think we need to just go down there. That's the only way that we can handle this. Uh, we need to just take it on, so... Uh, is it almost... Okay, it's almost nighttime. May maybe we take it on in the morning. Uh, we'll just wait a minute. We'll we can make a door in the meantime. You know, I've always wanted a door on my base, so let's say maybe the door right in the middle right there, and then we'll do this and that, and then eventually we could do, like, glass around the door or something. Uh, like, maybe windows in here. That could be really cool, or we could even do, like, uh, spruce supports in here, and then, yeah, maybe windows in the back. That could be really nice, too. Like, if we did a staircase there, ooh, that would look really, really good. It would go back into the mountain. Yeah, 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 yeah. Whatever you're stressed out, uh, you just switch it up, talk about building, and everything's good. What should I do as the floor in here, though? 
Uh, I was kind of thinking oak. I think oak would be a really good floor on the interior. So let's go ahead and just do that. What skeleton? There was never a skeleton. We've always just been designing our base. It's good. It's good. Uh, we're going to leave this open so I can see when it's night. Uh, yeah, I want the floor to be down here, sunken down one block. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. That would be great. That would be really good. Definitely what we need to be doing right now. Definitely. Hey, I told you this is what we needed to be doing. I told you there is. Uh, would you take a look at that? There's coal right under the floor. Would have never found it if I didn't If I didn't start doing this right now. We're going to get this coal. Then it, it's actually morning. So we're going to go ahead and go take on the skeleton. Maybe the skeleton will just despawn. Then we don't have to worry about it. Oh, okay, so the base floor is in for now. We're definitely going to change that soon, though. We'll, we'll make it look a little bit better. It works, but it's skeleton time. We need to go down there and check it out. Thankfully, I, I thought about it. There's, like, water down there, actually, so we can easily make a, make a water source thing right at the bottom with just this one bucket. We can take this water that we have right now. Should probably put a torch there just to be safe. Uh, we can take this bucket that we have right now, uh, dig down into the ground, and then get the, get the other water from over there, but the skeleton is the skeleton down here or not that's the big question and is there a zombie spawner that's also the other big question but uh, the grown-up zombies don't really scare me that much it's the baby ones um let's just go ahead and get rid of the whoops uh we'll just go ahead and get rid of that lava that makes it a little safer uh i think we need to go back up this way and see what's going on but first first let's do this okay so we need the hole right here. Okay, we're going to have obsidian in it. That's kind of a bummer. Not that big of a deal, though. Uh, the water actually needs to go there. And then this water, you need to come with me. And right there, and then right here. Right like I suspected, there's an infinite water source thing now. Uh, that's amazing. So, uh, up here, skeletons. Uh, are, are there more skeletons? Because if there are, that is terrifying. Um, yeah, there's a skeleton over there. Okay, so... Let's see. This might not... Okay, maybe this is bad still. <laughs> uh, maybe not. Um, yeah, let's just not do that. Let's just not. We'll go this way. What's over here? Does this wrap around? Because if it does, then we won't go this way either. Um, okay, this looks like a dead end. Okay, red zone. That's nice. Uh, yeah, a dead end. Okay, this is good. So this is pretty much worthless to me, but we'll take it anyways. Nice. That's good. Uh, we're just going to ignore the skeleton not even think about it nice okay so let's say we do the bed right here we'll mark the spawn i'm not trying to sleep uh yeah nice respawn point set and let's just take out the skeleton the skeleton not a big deal it's old news it's not cool i need to to get this area lit up any anyways you can go away oh wait no no that's exactly what i thought zombie you won't be able to figure out the water current uh you're not smart enough what do we have over here more cave Okay, well, I have a little bit of coal. I didn't bring it all down here with me, just in case. Uh, you know, you never know. Uh, let's see what we have, though. Maybe we have some diamonds this way. That would be really, really nice. Lava, we're just going to block you off. I could maybe use that for something later. Uh, anything bad over here? Hey, more coal. That's really good. That's really, really good. Um, this goes down. It just goes down. Hey, okay. This is amazing. This is great. Any diamonds down here? more iron no diamonds but iron is great okay okay big moves big moves that skeleton was trying to hide this stuff couldn't do it it just couldn't do it redstone too wow wow nice and more zombies okay okay oh no way no way i was about to cut away and go back over there and we just found the first diamonds of the world no way this is amazing this is beautiful this is so good in fact just so good that i needed to take a picture wow okay so unfortunately obviously no fortune but what do we have here we have oh wow we have a solid chunk of diamonds this is gonna be like eight blocks worth of diamonds that is really good maybe nine if we're lucky wow I, you know what i need to clear this out even more this is a special moment this is a really really big moment and redstone too how nice of the redstone to show up again how many diamonds are we gonna get are we gonna get eight or are we gonna get nine and we level up to was it a coincidence i don't think it was a coincidence because we got eight diamonds that is amazing that's enough for a pickaxe right there and that's really the big thing that we need because uh, we make a pickaxe we get the obsidian we have two more left over easy then we can make the enchanting table enchant and then we can really start actually traveling the other dimensions this is really 
awesome. This is an amazing setup. This cave, I had good feelings about this cave. This is really, really good. Eight diamonds, that's an amazing start. I'm hyped. I'm hyped about this. You know what? This might be good for paths. I'm, I'm gonna take this. I, I, I said I'm not gonna do a bunch of building this series, but like, things need to look good, right? There's no excuse, right? So, Gravel, you're, you're gonna come with me. Oh no, oh no, there's another skeleton right over there. Okay, so, uh, we it's not a big deal. We'll take this on. We, we, we got rid of the other skeleton, not a problem. We get rid of you two. You are not existent to me. Uh, okay, creepers and zombies too. We're out, we're out, we're out, we're out. We're gonna go ahead and go over here. Sweet berries are not great for healing me. I don't think the zombie will be able to figure this one out right here. Biggest, uh, big brain move in the book. Oh, zombie, what did I do? Don't know. Don't even know how I got here. Probably cheated. You can go away. Good. Oh, no. Okay, okay. Uh, nice. Okay, we're good. We're good. So, that's clear. That's kind of clear. Not really at all, though. This area now. We need to make sure this place is safe. So, more light would be great. We'll just put torches everywhere. That makes it good. Lots of ores here for me to come back and mine. Uh, once I make that a little bit more safe. What do we have this way? Do we have more caves? It kind of looks like it, for sure. So, maybe more light there. We could definitely get rid of that lava. That lava's kind of bad. And this water, we'll just block it off for now. What do we have? Do we have more? <gasps> no. No. This is a lie. This is a lie. This isn't real. <laughs> no. Wait. We have more diamonds over here. Wow. Wow. Okay. This is amazing. This is amazing. Wow, this world is so good. And there's like no mobs over here too, which is really, really nice. This is like, this is really, really good. Okay, we're gonna light this all up and then we're gonna get those diamonds. Wow, are we about to end this episode with like, uh, like over 10 diamonds? For sure, 100%. And even some more gold as well. Forget the diamonds, we just need the gold. This is amazing. Wow, this is the cave system for us. This is so huge. Like if we didn't, if if we made our cave system inside of our house, I wouldn't have any of this. This is this is crazy. Coal too. Wow, just wow. This is amazing. So there's a rule. If you get too greedy when you're when you're mining, uh, bad things will happen. So we're not going to be too greedy. If this is a cave. Uh, yeah, it looks like it's a cave. We're not really gonna explore this thing. Not today, not today. Uh, you come with me. We're just gonna block that back off. We'll go over there later. Sorry, Creeper, you're just gonna have to hang out there. Yeah, we're not gonna get that greedy today. We're just gonna go ahead and focus on this little section here. How many diamonds do we have? Uh, it looks like less than before, but hey, that's okay still. What are we at? 13. That's amazing, because if we can get to 24... I, I mean, first we need to make a pickaxe and an enchanting table, but if we can get to 24, that's a full set of diamond armor, which is amazing. We actually already almost have enough iron for a full set of iron armor. Will we skip it? I'm not too sure. Maybe. I don't know. If I find more diamonds uh, before I leave this place, we'll skip the iron for sure. I don't know, though. Maybe. I mean, I guess nothing's off the table. This luck is crazy. Ooh, but I can't forget to sleep. I can't forget to sleep. We need to check this. Yeah, it looks like it's nighttime right now. We definitely need to sleep. I can't have mobs spawning up there. That would be really, really bad, especially with that dark oak forest near us. Uh, they could, the mobs could just hide inside of it. Yep, that would be bad. We should probably put a fence up in between the dark oak forest and in our base. That would probably be a good idea. Let's go ahead and just set this up down here, though. We could do a crafting table and a furnace down here, and then I can smelt more iron up, and uh, I guess while I do that, I can wait. Uh, I don't have any other pickaxes, so yep, we'll just wait here. Maybe I could get rid of this lava. That could be a good idea. Or maybe we'll just leave that lava. That's kind of cool looking. Iron pickaxe number two, boom. I should have kept the first one. That would have been cool, but yeah, it just didn't work out like that. Uh, back to mining. Okay, 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 okay. I was just trying to light it up more. Just trying to light it up more. And there's more skeletons. And this time, the skeleton has chainmail. Oh, I thought you had chainmail armor on. Is there two? Maybe I was just seeing things. Can I mine this iron without without it uh, noticing me? I think so. I think so. Uh, that coal is going to have to wait up there. But that coal, 
Uh, that might be a reach too. Okay, well, we can get the Lapis. We'll, we'll settle for the Lapis. We'll come back for the coal later. Not that big of a deal. Uh, the Skeletons, they don't know what's coming for them once I get Iron Armor. It's going to be crazy. It's just definitely game over for all of them. Uh, because I need the bones so I can tame that dog on top of my base. But uh, not today. Not today. Today the Skeleton lives, but that's only for today. I promise. Okay, so the iron, that's good to go. We can leave all of this stuff down here for when we come back down here to find more diamonds. No branch mining even needed today. That is amazing. Now, before we end the episode, there is one more big thing that I need to do today. So, since we've been doing a lot of mining today, it would only make sense to try and finish up this whole mine area in today's episode as well. Which means, the stone cutter is going to be relocated to the outdoors for now, and I'm going to use a bunch of the andesite and cobblestone that I have. Maybe even smelt some stone up if I'm feeling fancy, and make a small rock. The rock will be... And it'll just be the, the building for the mine. I think that's a cool way to do it. Uh, I have a little bit of supplies here. We could maybe even use some gravel on the build. Not too sure. We'll bring it with us. Uh, but that is the plan for the rest of today's episode. So this is uh, the loot right here at the bottom of the chest. I will cook this iron up pretty much immediately. Probably the gold as well. Might as well. Uh, and then the iron right there. 13 diamonds. That is amazing. But I believe I have a job to do now. So wish me luck. I will be back once a gigantic, well not gigantic, once a medium sized rock has been built in the world. It'll be the best medium sized rock you've ever seen. I'm also going to keep farming uh, so I can breed the cows again. Uh, it's gotta be wheat ready, yeah, that's what I thought. Uh, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna multitask now. Now, just because I am the only good rock builder in town does not mean that I can't be the best rock builder in town. That's right, the job, the build has been finished, and yes, I did spend some of my hard-earned iron on lanterns right now. Also, yes, lanterns are very important to this build. Here is the entire cave build, kind of, asterisk, big asterisk. So, I'm missing some beautiful mossy tone blocks, but... Uh, I just kind of don't have them quite yet, so I think we're going to have to swing over to the outpost very soon, take some vines, uh, borrow them from the pillagers, make a little vine farm so I can decorate perfectly, but for now, I mean, I would say that this is a pretty, a pretty decent start. I have a custom tree, it's not really that custom, I just planted a spruce tree higher up in the air, but I never told you that part, and then uh, over here, we have a little river, a little stream, yeah, I, I guess it's not a river, that's a river over there, this is just a stream coming down off of this hill over to here i thought that looked really nice a little bit of supporting going on inside of this medium sized rock and then yeah coarse dirt bushes planted around campfire of course crafting table forever and uh yeah overall i'm really really pleased with how this ended up did i need to spend so much time detailing it yes i did of course i did it took me a while <laughs> but it looks great and it especially looks great for today's outro i hope you all enjoyed infinite survival episode 2 we have made good good progress dimension hopping dimension traveling very very soon if you enjoyed this video and you're ready for part three let me know by dropping a like we'll do the same goal as last time if i hit 5k likes on this video part three will come sooner rather than later smash subscribe smash notifications if you have not yet today i'd like to send a big thank you a big shout out to my patron thread monster thank you all for watching and until next time stay cool i'll see you in the next episode goodbye everyone